Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, we're literally in the last moments of FC24. Opening packs every single day, hoping to pack some of the craziest cards of the entire year, and using some of these players that we would just dream of getting for the last 11 months of this game cycle. The big names like the Ronaldo, the Pele, the Messi, Mbappes, even some of the icons like Ronaldinho and Zidane. But... EA is still withholding one thing, and I want to talk about that today because we know it's coming. It's a matter of when, and EA just release it now because we're ready for it. That's what I want to talk about today and look at a little bit of FC25 news and what could be coming today on the last day of maybe before we get some change up in preseason, re-release, new cards and packs, and a big promo Friday tomorrow. So if you're excited for the video, just drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over yesterday's Wednesday content really quick as we do. We got our player pick, guys. That's the biggest news that footy's guaranteed pick was released. Now, quickly, before we get to that, we did have another transfer player SBC. The SBCs this week have been heavy on the transfers, which, of course, we are fans of. But this Mariona SBC yesterday is not the most interesting. Insane. Finesse first touch rapid and technical plus. It is very easy to complete one squad, 56,000 coins. Um, I don't think I used her card at all this year. She was a Barcelona player, but now is on Arsenal. So there is that transfer right there. Now, the thing I actually want to point to out of all of this, remember yesterday how we mentioned that Calafiori didn't have another Arsenal card before getting his new 98 rated SBC that he had two days ago? Well, we now have all of these players that have been added and Caliofori is one of them but EA added a bunch of the base cards with the new clubs for these summer transfers we've got Pacho at PSG we've got Fulcrug West Ham Todibo West Ham Sorloth Atletico Madrid Joao Neves PSG tons and tons of players were added yesterday Renato Sanchez Benfica Pascal Gross you've got Pepe at Villarreal so tons of players have been added Jan Cotto with his Dortmund silver card there I know it doesn't really matter that much but I guess that's just more potential cards if you want to look through a list of those players that could be coming as SBCs, just some of the names, of course, that could be coming as transfer SBCs soon. So we do look forward to more of those SBCs, of course. But let's talk about the big player pick that dropped yesterday, the 96 plus. Hey, we were talking about hopefully being at 95, 96. Like, I didn't think it was going to be 96 plus, if I'm being completely honest. That was not on my radar for yesterday. There's not a whole lot of 95s that were really footies cards that would have been packable from this anyway. So I think it only took out a couple of cards. But it was nice to see this as a 96, and the nicest thing about it is it is easy to do. An 89 and a 90 rated squad is a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. The only disappointing thing that we don't love about it is we can't do it every day. We could only do it twice, and it's going to refresh here in another couple of days. But honestly, guys, this is our best player pick of the year, hands down. A 96 plus, all the footies cards that are in packs, chance at packing, the cards, of course, that aren't in packs at the moment, including the icons. I want to mention that as well. You can pack the icons from this, which is really great because a lot of the other footies guaranteed packs and stuff before were non-icon, right? Even like the 95 and the 92 plus picks that we have have footies in them, but it's only the heroes and the regular footies cards. So there were people packing Beckham yesterday. Blanc was packable from this. Sawa was technically packable from this as well. I mean, it's nice to have the icons packable in this player pick. So this is by far the best pick of the year and it's two squads not that expensive a must do every single time you can do it i mean i got nothing from my 96 plus picks that i opened yesterday we did open a bunch of them on stream if you want to check it out on the second channel of course you guys know the drill it was very hit or miss there were 99s and this is definitely the best chance of packing a 99 but it's just a little unfortunate that we can't do it every single day now the 95 plus i do want to mention this um, these seemed better yesterday after the refresh doing four more of these every single day is going to be really, really nice. I'm looking forward to doing those today. We saw an Mbappe pulled from one of these yesterday and way more, just like 98 rated cards, like the Musialas, uh, and the De Bruins and some of those higher rated cards that are re-releasing packs right now. 
that uh, are still difficult to pack, but those like 98 rated, we saw them a lot more often. Even some of the footies cards and some of the icons and stuff uh, were more common as 98 rated from the, that pick yesterday. Not the icons, obviously, but the 98 rated promo cards and the footies, they were popping from that. So I'm excited for those each and every day they refresh. Now, of course, as we usually do, we tend to take a look at the team and you guys can see the updates on my personal account that we have packed yesterday in a 51 player exchange off stream. We packed 98 Mbappe, so check that off the list. I was waiting for that to happen, of course, since I had Duke Theory with the team of the season. But there was one other pretty massive pull yesterday that we did have. You're going to have to check out the second channel for that one. That was a really nice pull there. Um, Jude Bellingham, of course, in the team. Frimpong, if you saw the end of yesterday's video, that was in there. That was crazy. We're going to do another 84 times 10 to end off today's video to see if we can replicate that kind of pack luck. So make sure to check out the second channel for the other big pack pull that we had yesterday. Yesterday. Now, let's talk for a minute, right? You guys saw the t title of the video. You saw the thumbnail. You saw the player that was on the thumbnail. What's keeping us on this game right now? J before we get to that, what's keeping us on this game right now? Maybe FC25 hype, so you're playing a little bit of FC24. Maybe it's just the preseason unlimited pack grind. I mean, that is one of the main things for sure. With all the insane cards that are in packs, it is just fun. There is no other time of the year like this, like the footies, the preseason grind, the end game, where everything's in packs. It's the crazy cards, all the big name players, and they're all absolutely juiced. Packs are endless. Specials are everywhere. It's just... It just kind of satisfies that itch that we didn't even know we had, honestly. Before, a couple years ago, when we had this type of promo released, we never knew it could be this good. And then EA went to this level, and it just kind of blew our minds the last couple of years. It's crazy every single year. And we all get to use players. I want to mention this, too. We all get to use players that we w really would never use. Like, there's a Cruyff in my team right now. I'm working on a 99-rated Eusebio SBC. I've got Mbappe, um, Ronaldo, and Messi as my front three. Jude Bellingham, 98-rated. Like, I haven't used half of these guys except for having player of the month Mbappe, like, at all this year. I barely ever used the Jude Bellingham, like, except for just for trying him out. Vinny Jr., I haven't used all year. Didn't pack any of his cards. Didn't go and spend on coins to buy his cards. Hullet, Cruyff, except for the Hullet Winter Wild Cards. That was a bit of an exception. I didn't use the team of the year George Best. I really didn't ever use Rodman, and she was cracked this year. Bon Mati never had a chance to use her either until this version. Like, this end game grind is just, just so different and so amazing on so many different levels. Like, there's a lot of things that are drawing us into this game, but it's, it's getting a little bit old, you know? It, the repetitiveness is kind of there for some of the packs and stuff like that. Now EA spice it up with the big player picks and some of the big SBCs, but EA still holding one little thing back now maybe a couple of things but this is the big thing guys greats of the game are nine i know he's in packs i know some of you guys have packed him but this card is more difficult to pack than 99 rated for sure like the number of people that have tweeted me are nines is way less than people that have tweeted me 99 pelés 99 messies and ronaldos this guy is really tough to pack as always r9 is the ultimate icon chase and this is the sbc that we need bro was extinct at 15 million coins for ages he's now like 1.8 1.799 million coins as of right now as the price of these cards just keep dropping as they are still in packs but this is the we need this now ea this is time like you've dropped multiple multiple 99 player SBCs. This is the time to drop the 98 greats of the game R9. It's maybe even a little bit past due, especially because they're probably going to drop more 99 footies icons, 99 footies transfers SBCs. Like this is the player that so many people want to have on their team. He is when you think of the best striker in the game, when all the pros, you know, those TikTok videos where people go up to the pros and ask them, you know, what's the best striker in the game this year? Who's your favorite striker in FC 24? It's R9, 95% of the time. Like, he is just that dude in this FIFA. And if you guys watched me two years ago, remember FIFA 22, where I packed mid version of R9, back when there were base, mid, and prime icons. I packed a mid R9, and I used him. I packed him so early. It was my craziest pack pull ever. And I used him for, like, the majority of the year. Got a 1,000 games on him unbelievable card he is just on a whole different level of striker in this game always that's why there's hype for this sbc and that's why we need an sbc like this and ea it is time 
for this SBC. So, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to get this card, and you haven't been able to pack him, myself included in that. What's an SBC for R9 going to look like? Well, I think a very easy comparison would be Eusebio, right? Eusebio's 23 squads, a lot of 93s and 94s. Well, really the whole squad. And then Mia Hamm, of course, is a lot of squads with 30. I think that R9 is going to fall in that 27 to 30 squad range for an SBC, it's going to be expensive. It is like, but again, 85, 10, 84 times tens. If you want to get it done, you're going to be able to, to craft it out and to get it done pretty quick. Now, the next question is, when is it going to be? If I had to guess, it's not a today type of thing because why would EA drop an R9 SBC on a Thursday? There's not a lot of hype for that. We know the schedule, right? It's been Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, biggest three days for SBC content. And the hype stuff on the game. We're saying that every single day in the videos, right? It's probably going to be... I My guess is tomorrow. My guess is tomorrow we get an R9 SBC. And we will be able to start crafting him then. Alongside another player SBC. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. And maybe we have some leaks and some info. But that's the SBC that we need. That's That kind of like, you know... It's the cherry on top. It's bigger than the cherry on top. Because R9 is a lot more than just a little cherry on top. He is like the whole ice cream cone i don't even know at the same time so that's the kind of sbc that we still need of course you know there's still rumors and hopes for other 99 transferred sbcs like you know that mbappe that i have in my club the team of the tournament right that i was just able to pack a lot of you guys have been chasing this card as a pack pull too he's still a couple million coins but a lot of people myself included still believe that there is a 99 mbappe that is out there coming as an sbc at some point because this one's not a five star five star and it's not 99 rated and I'm fully believing that we could get a 99 Mbappe, but the R9 would definitely drop first since it's a 98. And uh, I still think we might be a week away from this if they were to go ahead and do that. But like, that's one of the other SPCs that we could maybe get. But especially because EA told us they're going to be dropping greats of the game uh, cards as SPCs. They already put Dino in the season pass. Like, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when we're going to get R9. And I'm telling EA that it's time. Drop the SPC tomorrow, all right? And we will be good to go and we will be happy. So that's my thoughts on the whole kind of situation of the game in the moment. I know a lot of you guys are just logging on every day, getting the packs done, the 85 10s, the 84 10s, crafting the player picks, testing your luck, seeing what you get, especially because this. This menu grind, it's been going on for a hot minute now. Like, if you look back, not quite a month, but at least early August, we've been talking about 84 tens in some capacity. We've been talking about a pack grind with re-releases all the way back to even before that with re-releases and packs for footies it's been a while and yeah there is a little bit of it that gets repetitive but at the same time like when the chase for the cards becomes easier and easier for that top tier and you get to actually get your hands on especially if you don't even want to open the packs and just go look at the market and look at the prices of some of these players where you can buy crazy 98 rated cards for like 30, 40,000 coins, and they're, you know, like, I looked at 97 company every day, and I think he's still a couple hundred thousand coin card, and then I realized he's 30k. Stuff like that, too, is a part of the end game that we really enjoy, but it does get a bit repetitive at times. That's why stuff like the R9, stuff like, you know, the transfer players spicing it up right now brings a little bit of extra life into the game. So, again, I'm not expecting R9 today by any stretch of the imagination, but hopefully tomorrow, maybe a transfer SBC today, and a couple other things I want to talk about for today as well, as we maybe get lucky here with an 84 times 10. Will there be anything in behind this? Let's see. Any 99s hiding? There is not, and I'm going to quick sell this 88 Alexis Sanchez, so we have one more 84 10 to open at the end of the video, but things to watch out for today. There hasn't been much stuff thinking about FC25 recently in terms of carryover rewards. It's the preseason promo, right? Of course, we love the pack grind, but also we like the carryover rewards into FC25 that we can do right now in 24. The daily login upgrade is expiring today. There's going to be a new one. I don't really know if this is going to be tied to any rewards. There's nothing on the preseason website that mentions the preseason daily login. There's the daily play that we need to do to get XP, but the daily login um, is going to be refreshing today. It might just be the same objective that as always is giving us a few packs and of course you know a bronze player for an 83 double every day is not too bad so i would expect that piece of content today and then we're really going to keep an eye on objectives because as expected the weekly objective expired and there was nothing that was replacing it yesterday there was no objective content but I think if there is going to be a weekend league objective, it would be happening today. So be watching out for that. Could be a transferred player in there. Who knows? Also could be a transferred player SBC today too. We'll be keeping an eye out for 
that. That's probably content today, guys. A player SBC, the regular SBC refreshes at the early content time with the 85 times 10s, your 86 plus player pick as well then. And then at regular content, you're going to have the 80 or sorry, the 95 plus player pick is going to refresh. I'm not sure if there's anything else that's refreshing today. I have not been doing the icon picks. Maybe those will. I think those do refresh every day, the one of four, um, just because those to me are kind of irrelevant with the other player picks that we do have, especially now with the 96 plus, but I'm not chasing icons. I'm chasing footies 99. So watch out for that. Now, speaking of FC 25, to round off the video today, I do want to take a quick look into some of the leaks that were posted yesterday and talked about more car designs, guys. Now we're going to do a lot more FC 25 deep dive. Like the mind for me is starting to slowly shift over into straight away from, you know, just been packs, 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 grind and grind and grind and everything is free, you know, to, into the, we have to be really worried about coins, talking about cars in the beginning of the game and prices and all that fun stuff. Honestly, as we restart and head into the gold cards straight from the 99s, like I'm getting very excited for that for sure. As you can tell by my tweets about all the new ratings and stuff at the moment, but we do have some new car designs and this is for player of the month, Syria. They do like to keep these player of the month car designs pretty basic to be honest you think of the prem design from this last year you think about la liga and now of course you look at this Serie A design even compared to last year very basic designs not a whole lot of frills around the edges of the, of the cards but i kind of understand that too because these are players that will be dropped earlier on i almost kind of wish that they would um maybe change up the designs for the player of the months as we go on throughout the year and like level them up a little bit that would kind of separate some of the earlier ones versus later ones just an idea um but this one for league one actually does look different i mean if you take a look at that and then compare it to like mbappe's player of the month two different cards that he had this last year i mean that's way cooler now i think that's because of different sponsorship right is it it's the league one mcdonald's instead of league one uber eats so i'm surprised besides the logo for the league they didn't put like the mcdonald's arch on the top there but anyways um that's a different card design for player of the month league one so those are some of the leaks yesterday a few more ratings have been added as well um as well as card type designs like you know the red foot champs design was tweeted out yesterday too other than that not a whole lot besides potms this was the most recent leak that i do want to discuss and i'm sure we're going to get a whole lot more information on this here pretty soon but the first official season pass name is going to be called total rush and of course it's leaked here saying will be across all game modes, but that's the whole point of the new season apparently in FC 25 is that it's going to encompass pro clubs, career mode, and ultimate team like somehow all in one. Still have a lot of questions about that. EA have not really de delved into that with their information super well yet. So we'll be waiting for more updates from EA. Hopefully, I mean... I say the next two weeks, sometime in the next couple of weeks, we got to have some more pitch notes. We got to have some more news about what's coming to FC 25 in that regard. I'm sure there will be some more information coming soon. It just right now we got the leaks, we got the ratings, and now it's kind of like, well, what's next? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm feeling a little bit of that as well, but we're almost to September. And that's of course, when it feels like you kind of crest over the top of the hill in terms of uh, like you know, like a, a hill ride, then you go down the hill and you're like, boom, full speed ahead straight into FC 25. So that's kind of the quick update on what's going on in 25. Again, we'll be posting a lot more videos, especially as this game is really starting to end and we get closer and closer to 25. We'll be going full speed ahead into the preparation and getting ready for the big game. Now, here's my 84 times 10 to end the video today. It is going to be an Italian right wing Berardi. No, Politano. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. If I'm getting a 90 rated as the face card walkout, no 99s for me in this one. Oh, we even had Dovbik who gave us the Frempong yesterday. He was the walkout and then nothing else in behind. So that's where we're going to end the video today, guys. But catch up for the stream today because we will be continuing to pack those 95 plus picks. I will be all over those today. We're going to be making some progress on Eusebio, hopefully adding more 99s to our squad. And tomorrow we'll have some interesting things to talk about with Probably some more FC25 grindable objectives released. Maybe that evolution. And fingers crossed, hopefully, more cards in packs. Especially the footies cards that we want to see added. Like Salah and Sawa and Sun and all of those. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel once again. And I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate's with Accountancy. There. Peace. Out.